everybody. I have to do a voiceover because I had my AirPods on and apparently, yeah, nothing recorded. Um, so yeah, today I am doing my review on the Lunar Beauty Moonshroom uh, collection. That would be the palette right there. Um, yeah, I said a lot of stuff in the video, but honestly, I cannot remember to save my life. But basically, I already have my base makeup on. I did a TikTok for that, so if y'all want to check the TikTok out, I'll have that link down below. But yeah, I don't know what the hell I was talking about here, but you know, my eyebrows were eyebrowing. Here is the uh, Lunar Beauty Moonshroom Highlighter Palette that I really did like. It's got four shades in it, so I think I swatched them. Let me see here. Okay, so I think I went in with the lightest shade. Let's see, I had it like this. Okay, so I had that's tank. Um, I was thinking it was gonna be a little too dark for me, but it wasn't. That shade is sugar, so that one's the brighter one. That's the one that'll give you, well, me at least, it gave me more of a little bit of a white cast. And then I went into was it sprinkle? No, I went into blossom, the pinky one. That's more like a I use it as a highlighter, but it can be a blush topper, like if you go in very, very lightly because it is very pigmented. And then the last shade was Sprinkle. So that's more of a bronzy highlight. It's really pretty. All of them are really pretty. I ended up going in with Tink and Blossom for like my cheek highlight. I believe that's what I end up showing. Um, Yeah, that's me trying to show how I'm going to use those two. And my lord was I having such a hard time figuring it out because I haven't filmed like a actual long form video in a minute I've just been doing short form TikToks um yeah so that's me trying to figure out how the hell to show you guys that I'm going into Tink and Blossom and telling you that there's a little bit of kick up with the palette and yeah I use a lot of my Singe Beauty brushes here so that one was the F07 I think or F03 what is it an FO, oh lord, is that a 7? Yeah, the FO7. That's the one I like to use for my highlighting. So there I go in on both sides. I really do like it. Very pretty. It doesn't emphasize texture. With, like right now, I have a lot of facial hair because I haven't waxed since I'm waiting for the day before my niece's sweet 16 to go do all that maintenance and stuff. So if you see anything, really, it's hair. God, I wish I remember what the hell I said to make that face um yeah but oh this is me wetting my beauty blender to kind of tone down the powderiness of everything um just to melt the highlighter in oh i'm talking about how i think that flower beauty spray is expired because it smells a little funky and i've had it for years so i do think that's what that is so here i went in with the lightest shade which is sugar for my cupid's bow for my nose highlight and the what is this forehead yeah i put a little bit of uh of it on my forehead um but yeah i do remember that i was talking about how i got um what is it I, when i first started the channel back up i had 35 subscribers and now i'm like at 135 so i got 100 new subscribers in the few months that i've been back on youtube so i do appreciate that and thank you to everybody that has subscribed and i hope you guys enjoy the channel uh, it's primarily makeup. I have had some in here that are like, I did a Papa Tui brand review, which is, you know, The Rock, aka my idol. Uh, I love that man. Um, I did that and he actually reposted it on his Instagram. I was so happy. Um, but yeah, that's me going with the Rare Beauty eyeshadow primer. That's the one that I like to use. And I was showing here how I took out the stopper so that, because I was already running low. So I take out the stopper with some tweezers. To be able to get as much of the product as I can because I love this primer and it's not that it's super expensive but since I'm not trying to buy that much makeup you know I had to do what I had to do oh and that was another thing I talked about how I actually broke my no buy to be able to buy this collection because I'm a sucker for Lunar Beauty I will buy anything Lunar Beauty and I also bought another couple things um makeup related I ended up buying the odin's eye mystery boxes and the new elf setting spray like the new hydro grip one that should be coming in soon but i mean the the spray from elf i don't consider like crazy 
because those are just $10. So I'm like, all right. But yeah, the mystery boxes, it's because they might have the Hello palette, the collab that they did with Angelica Nyquist, who's the owner, creator of the brushes that I use, the Singe Beauty brushes. So I really want that palette. So hopefully it's in one of the mystery boxes that I got. All right, so here I went in with the palette and I'm pretty sure I was saying I didn't know what the heck to do, but that I kind of wanted to use the bottom row um, more than anything because I like those deeper colors. Uh, let's see. I think, it, yeah, I went in with Fuzzy Foot, which is kind of like a, a brownish purpley color, a maroon color. I don't know, but it's a dark brown. And then I went in with my Rose and Ben Beauty brushes. I was showing the difference between the E28 and the E29. Uh, the E28 is the one that I'm pointing to right there, which is more of like um, a precision. I don't know how to say that word. Precision. Here we go. Brush where it's more like one that I use to tap and like build up the color. Like I don't, I don't do any um, blending like windshield wiper motion with it. Like I really like this one to apply a color on and like especially deeper, darker colors. Yeah, it's very, it's very dense. I like that. I want more brushes from Rose and Ben, um, particularly eye brushes, but like she, she doesn't have that many in her collection. It's more like um, she has a travel set, but it's a hundred bucks. So I'm like, she does more eye brushes in the future. I will be investing in those because the quality is really good on it. But yeah, that's just me putting uh, down the first color, which again was fuzzy foot. And I'm just like building it up and building it up and going on about something that I don't know what the hell I was talking about. Man, I really wish I would have been able to keep my original audio. But yeah, now I know I cannot because I was watching freaking true crime. So I clearly can't do that and record a video because it will not record my audio. Lesson learned. It's the first time I use AirPods. Uh, I usually I haven't been having them in my ears. But yeah, I'm just going to repeat the same here on the other eye. Yep. So how's everything going? How's life, you guys? I still don't know how to put in audio that's not copywritten. So, you know, can't do that here. Let's see. I think I was talking about I'm trying to be better as a bariatric patient because I did have um, gastric bypass surgery back October of 20. What is it? This is going to be year two. So 22. And I already... Like, I already surpassed my goal, which was to lose, what was it? Like, uh, was it 100 pounds? I think 100 pounds. Like, I went down, no, actually, it was less than 100 pounds. I was supposed to lose 60, but I lost 120, so I lost double that. But because I get hungry now, like, in the beginning, I didn't used to feel that hunger. I'm, like, snacking a lot, which I shouldn't be, so I'm really trying to focus on being a better bariatric patient and, like, focus on protein and the stuff I'm supposed to be focusing on which is not chips um you know snacks like that but yeah I know I talked about that because I don't know if I I'm pretty sure I did mention it in another video that I had that surgery and that's how I was able to lose some weight and you know try to keep it off as much as I could uh here I'm going in now with the shade pixie pixie pop it's the vibrant like it's deeper than lavender it's really pretty it ended up like really popping. Oh, I was showing how I clean my brushes in between with my Sheila towel. It's also from Rose and Ben Beauty. It's kind of like the Sigma switch. Um, but I don't know. I feel like the, the towel takes away the color better sometimes than the switch. So I, and I have two of those, so I'll have them more in handy, which I don't even know where my Sigma switch is. I usually use that to like take off glitters and stuff. But here I was just um, putting that pixie pop, kind of fanning it over the fuzzy foot color to kind of blend that out in a way uh, so that it wasn't just like a harsh line there or, you know, like um, the color basically so that it wouldn't be just boom difference in colors. Like I wanted it to be kind of like a gradient. Uh, but yeah, now I'm just doing it on the other ojo right there. Like, yeah, I, I noticed that I do more of that tapping motion now. Ever since I started watching more of, like, Rose and Ben's... Her name is Rose, but her Instagram handle is Rose and Ben. 
um, since I started watching more of her like tutorials and stuff, I don't really do the blending out. Like sometimes I do if I'm using lighter colors, like more transition, like traditional transition colors. Um, I'll do that more where I actually fan it out. But I've been loving the whole pat, like patting motion and then buffing it out kind of and blending it. It makes it look cohesive too. So I'm like, I'm, I'm a fan of that uh, technique. I don't know what I said. Sorry. And there I go in. I was going to go in with a deeper color to give it a little bit more depth on the outer corner, which is pretty poison. It's pretty much a deep, dark purple. It's really pretty. Uh, I didn't find it being patchy or anything. Um, and usually when I have like hairy ass eyebrows that I haven't groomed, um, I'm waiting for Thursday to go get them laminated. Um, sometimes the darker colors are harder for me to blend out up top, especially because I don't know if you could tell, but I had a lot of concealer on under those brows to try to cover up all the damn hair that I've been really good at not tweezing. Usually I freaking break and tweeze out a few of the hairs, but I really want to have a good laminated brow. Um, so I am letting them all be there for my girl, Lauren. She's the best. She knows how to take care of my brows the way I like them. So yeah, I really did like that color too. Like the pretty poison, it didn't get patchy or anything like that. And I used another Singe Beauty brush there. I don't remember which one it is. I know it's the eye, part of the eye set. It was like an EO5 or bigger. And then I went in with my Morphe X Aerial brush. Uh, one of the brushes, it's like a flat shader. Um, I went in with the color Witch's Hat, which is a uh, part of the, yeah, a part of the shimmer row. It's the purpley one. Um, I'm pretty sure I was talking about how I wasn't all that impressed with the shimmer shadows on this palette. Like once the manufacturing went to China, I feel like the shimmers kind of lost a little bit of their magic. I do like them in the, um, what is it? The Nude Prism? Yeah, the Nude Prism palette. I guess because they're more like of a of a glittery kind of shimmer whereas these are just more shimmer some of the colors are really nice like the next one that i'm going to use is called magic mushroom which looks blue but gray and then greenish like it's really pretty so out of all the shades like shimmer shades on this that one's my favorite the magic mushroom one uh the fairy wings is really it's a vibrant gold so i do like that one but the rest of them they're they're all right i actually like the mattes on this palette a lot more than the shimmers um but yeah because i like how it has both neutrals and the colors so i'm definitely going to use the neutrals for probably a tiktok look that i might film later today once i'm out of work um but the i like that the darker ones are so easy to blend like they were they they didn't get patchy at all like i mean you could see in the in the earlier blending that it was not patchy and i was not having any difficulties with it um, so yeah, that's just me spraying it with some, one of my sprays, I don't know. But yeah, that's the magic mushroom color. It's so pretty. I really like that one. Like I could probably just use that, that color on its own, like with one of the neutrals or something, or even the, the green that they have in this one, Dewdrop. It's like a forest green. It's really pretty. So I don't know. I might do that too. I don't know. Options here, people. There are plenty of options. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about something. I'm shaking my head and nodding over here. Oh, I think I was talking about me getting my first hate comment. I was like, oh my God. I was telling my sister, oh my God, I got my first hate comment. She's like, oh, don't worry about it. I'm like, oh, I'm not. It's just like funny that I, why, why am I getting a hate comment? I have a hundred subscribers, but hey, some people don't like what I'm doing. So it's fine. Everybody's entitled to their opinion, just like I am to mine. So whatever i don't really i just thought it was so funny like i was telling my sister i didn't well i guess it's my second one the first one was just a comment saying youtube please don't um suggest this video it was on a short i'm like geez you there's it took longer probably for the person to type it out than my actual short to play like it's a minute long video i don't know i thought that was funny oh uh, yeah that's me again with the singe beauty brushes i was I went in with a uh, weeping willow, I think. Yeah, weeping willow on my lower lash line, just so I can try to get as many colors in here as I could. And then I ended up blending that one out a little bit with the color toad, which is more of a. I don't know. I don't know. It's like a. 
is it that poop no it's not the poop brown it's more like it's a brown but it's not i don't know how to describe colors uh so here we are with that struggle again but you'll see it i point to out i point it out um after i'm done putting this weeping willow color it's really pretty i like all the mattes in this palette and i poked myself so there's that oh i think i talked about people comparing it to the raw beauty christie and ColourPop collection i have that one too but i honestly didn't do any swatch comparisons or anything like that because i i remember using that palette and i remember not liking the formula on it that's why i never really used it i still have it because i like the memory of it um but i remember the colors were uh there was so much kick up in the pan and it was not easy blending the colors so I don't know if maybe with the new technique that I have now where I pat and press kind of thing, if it'll be better. But I just remember that one being so patchy when I used the, the ColourPop one. So this one so far is way better and I don't see any similar similarities other than the greens in the palette. Which obviously, yes, because I mean, hers is at fourth sight and this is Moonshroom. It's, you know, earth related. Makes sense, you know? But yeah just going on and on laughed about something and yeah that's me still putting on that green trying to make it not be so crazy so this is where i go in with toad or no i guess not i guess i already did toad over on the other clip of it everything i went in with puffball to do an inner corner highlight with just the matte color instead of it being a shimmer and man oh man that is a bright bright uh like pale yellow or pale nude or something it's not a yellow because honeysuckles are yellow but i really like that one for the inner corner that's quite quite nice yeah like you can totally see it right there and that again with my singe beauty brushes that one's like a flat shader brush but by the time i find it it'll be oh here it is it is the e01 and i got that from her set and this was the hardest thing I did. The whole freaking video was trying to put on eye gems. It's the first time I do it. And I wanted to practice because I'm going to do some eye gems for myself for my niece's sweet 16. That's this week. And oh my lord. I took my duo glue. Um, and that was really the only thing that I already knew I had to do. Like or use I mean. Um, so yeah I did. I don't know what kind of color that is. But it, it switched. It in Spanish, it's called tornasol, but it's not really because tornasol is more like a pale color. And this one, and it switches to other colors. And this one, the base of it was like a blue. But when I switched, like, my face or, face or whatever, it would turn other colors like purple and pink. And then I put two, like, magenta ones right next to it. And then two clear ones, like, pulling out. I liked it. Like, I did enjoy it. But my God. It is so hard to put these things on. I'm thinking because I don't have the right tool to pick up the gem. I was using the tweezers that came with the Amazon package. And not the best, you know. But what can you expect for like $7? And then on the inside, I did um, blue. Why? I don't know. I just figured it'd be nice compare. I don't know. I just went with the colors that I had. So I did um, two like dark blues. Kind of royally blue or something and then one kind of teal um and eventually you'll see if i ever look up but i want to show you guys my gray hairs and the mess that i did with the wave iron that i tried to use for the first time today that was a fail because i ended up looking like la chilindrina or doña florinda or one of them i think it was la chilindrina um but yeah so there's the mirror that you guys will not be able to see the gems with because I'm blocking my face. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, I don't know why I didn't cut this out, to be honest. But there it is. I'm annoyed as hell because it took me so long to freaking figure out how to put those in there. And again, you won't be able to see it because I'm dumb and I'm blocking my face. Because why would you need to see? Oh, you can kind of see there the little gems there and stuff. Um, eventually you might see it if I, yeah, there, I'm not the first time and yeah, I can't say it'll be the last time because I'm going to do it again on Friday. So, but just not with that. I'm going to use pearls instead because I'm going for a pearl look with the dress that I got for the party. 
but yeah um it's hard to put these suckers on if you don't have the right tools i'll just say that but i do like them i enjoyed the the look with it and i went in with some libre 06 lashes i believe they were half lashes um they were so filthy because i didn't clean them i went in with my uh fenty beauty hella thick mascara because my rare beauty is uh gone and then i did the nabla cupid's bow cupid's arrow pencil in black i did that for the tight line and the water line um because it was the pencil that was right next to me and i was too lazy to get a different pencil so you know this one works and i don't know how to do the tight line without making ugly ass faces so yeah there's that i just like the black one because it does make my hazel eyes pop a little bit more sometimes um but maybe i should have done a color like a either a cream or i don't know some other color to make it a little bit more um not vibrant but you know to go with the flow of like the lighter colors that i did use also but i don't know i ended up liking the look if you could ever see it because I need to freaking remember not to block. But yeah. Uh, what am I thinking? What am I doing? I look down so much. It's also my viewfinder thing. Monitor is down at the bottom. But yeah, that's me showing the lip glosses. It's three of them that came with the bundle. Ella, Soul, and Flora, I believe. Um, I only tried out one. I already know I like his formula for glosses. And I have all of them pretty much. Um, but I just went in with, that was the clear one. I think it's called Ella. They're literally right in front of me. I'm just being lazy. Um, yeah, it's called Ella. That's Flora. And then the one I used is Soul, which is the one he was talking about that it wasn't going to be made, but then they ended up making it. So that one. So I went in with my Lunar Beauty lip liner in Coco. It's my favorite because it's the darker deep brown color. So I did not do a lip scrub, which I should have because my lips were crusty as hell. So that's the nasty little, oh, you can just see the freaking uh, lip crust because I did not do anything to make them look better. Uh, but yeah, I'm just, I literally just lined them and that's me trying to take off some of the nasty crap on the inside. And then I just went in with the gloss on top and i really like that gloss it reminds me of this one um discontinued one I, i'm pretty sure it's discontinued it was from uh dose of colors their collab with disney like mickey mouse um i don't know why it just reminded me of that one it was so good and i used up two of those so i might end up using this one up because i feel like i don't need an actual lipstick uh since it is so pigmented and i really like his gloss formula because it's not sticky or anything like his glosses are probably my favorite um but yeah that's pretty much the completed look here i i really like this one i think i said yeah yeah i really do as you can see because i won't stop applying it and obviously it smells like they all do delicious so here i just gave my overall thoughts uh, the packaging is 10 out of 10 always with his packaging with the uh, embossed moon it's always really pretty i love it uh yeah just showing you guys the layout of the pans and i mean overall i really enjoyed it i was talking about how the mattes were really matting here they were very nice easy to blend out the only thing i wasn't that big of a fan of were their shimmers but they work perfectly fine they're just not i was expecting more glitter i don't know why i probably should have paid better attention uh at his reveal video so that's on me but overall, like, I will be reusing this palette, obviously, since I did break my no buy just to be able to get it and use it. Um, but yeah, I really do like the palette. And I don't know what I was talking about. Golly, I wish I would have listened to one clip of a freaking video to see if it was working. And then the same for the uh, highlighting palette. I'm glad I got it. I did have his singular one, but it was a little too dark for me. So I decluttered that one of you know when it first came out like i got it since then so i'm sure i decluttered it last year or the year before that but i really like his highlights i mean whenever they come in the his blush palettes i enjoy them too so yeah that's just me talking about how i hope you guys like the video and enjoy what i'm doing 
Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do all the things. Go follow my TikTok, um, my Instagram, all that good stuff. I will be posting more YouTube videos now that I have the new attachment for a mic on this because I had to get a new phone since I had no more storage. Um, but yeah, now that I have more storage on this new phone, you guys will be seeing me upload more videos and, you know, just do what you guys got to do. Leave me comments and everything and subscribe. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.